Today we have so popular person. I would like to introduce to you Mr. Paul Cleves. Uh, he is uh, the department head of Eton College. The tutor famous personalities such as Prince Dipendra Shah, Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister of UK and uh, many more since uh, 2021 to till now. He is a uh, vice chairman of British Educational Group, BEG and uh, running various institute in Dubai, UK and Nepal under it uh, since 2021. This group is providing the latest English curriculum in six different province of Nepal. And uh, I would like to welcome to Shor. Thank you. Kindly tell about yourself in brief along with your purpose of visiting Arupanthi district of Nepal. Well, I have been in Kathmandu for the last few days. Um, I'm on the advisory board of the British College um, and we've had a graduation ceremony there for 400 students who have graduated from two British universities uh, British, uh, the, the University of Leeds and the University of the West of England. Um, so they have emerged with degrees which are exactly comparable with the degree that they would have got if they had studied at those institutions in the United Kingdom. But it's been at a fraction of the cost. Uh, so, so that was the principal reason for my coming to Nepal this time. Um, however, having, uh, having been in the country, uh, the British Education Group um, is, is establishing schools in different provinces <coughs> around Nepal, one of which is Lumbini, um, and we have Nam Namaste Academy here. So I am spending two days at Namaste Academy, um, and I'm meeting with the teachers and the, uh, the non-academic staff, and we are uh, finding out ways in which we can improve the quality of teaching and bring a, a, a better uh, standard of education to, to pupils living in, in Butwal. What is the motto of implanting Cambridge University curriculum in private school of Nepal and uh, what could be the advantage and disadvantage of each if any? The advantages of a British education um, are that your qualifications are recognised everywhere in the world. So if you want to uh, apply for a job, if you want to apply to a further uh, uh, academic educa uh, institution, um, then your degree um, would be accepted. If you have done A-levels, for example, um, you will be accepted, uh, depending on the level uh, of, of, of uh, your success, uh, you could be eligible to enter a university anywhere in the world. So I think the first thing I would say about British qualifications is that they are accepted uh, in all countries in the world. The second thing about a British education is that it encourages people to think um, and we encourage people to use their imagination uh, we encourage people to use their wits uh, we encourage people to ask questions we encourage people to think more widely um, and we encourage people to research to delve deeper um, and to and we equip them with the skills they need uh, to, to investigate any any question further so I think that the advantages of a British education are, are, are quite wide and, and we can count uh, a, a number of them. Yeah. What's the difference between Nepal education system and uh, British education system? Sure. Well, I've just told you some of the advantages yeah. of the British education yeah. system and what a British education system would encourage yeah. uh, the pupils to do. Um, I would also add to that list uh, that, a, that a, a British education is not focused solely on what happens in the classroom. Uh, a British education will um, emphasise team activities, it will emphasise sport, it will emphasise arts, um, and a good school in the United Kingdom would have music, it would have drama, it would have painting, it would have a very wide range of uh, art, artistic activities. Um, and uh, I, I know that this is not unique to the United Kingdom and for instance at the Namaste Academy uh, they have debating, um, they, they have, uh, they have uh, dance, they have a, a quite a wide range of activities there. So um, yes, those would be the benefits as I see it of a British education um, but certainly here in, in Nepal we are trying to introduce many of those things into our schools. Um, today, for instance, we uh, just appointed um, an, an art, a new art teacher 
yeah. arts and craft teacher at Namaste Academy. Um, you know, so that is one of the things that we are very keen to promote, extracurricular activities, uh, because we know that some of the children are not academic and therefore it's important to give them a wide range of non-academic things at which they can excel. What is your thought on its uh, effort in Namaste Academy? Right, okay. Well, clearly it's important to, yeah. to promote academic quality. Yeah. Um, and we don't have, it, it's not what we, I would call a selective school, in other words any pupil can go there, they don't have to be clever, they don't have to pass an examination um, in order to get into the school, so we accept children of all academic abilities. Um, clearly it's our job to add value, it's our job to, to help them um, become, if you like, more clever, um, it's our job to help them to pass examinations. Yeah. Uh, but what we do want to do um, is get them is to encourage them to enjoy learning um, and that way they will they will want to learn um, and they will study harder so uh, we are in the process of introducing um, British qualifications and probably the first one that we will introduce will be a primary curriculum from Cambridge University so so Cambridge University is known throughout the world um, Cambridge have what they call the Cambridge pathway and it begins with primary, it goes through middle school, it goes to upper school and on to A levels. Um, so what we, our ambition would be to introduce that Cambridge pathway uh, into, into Namaste. Now clearly we can't do that overnight, we have to get the licences, we have to make sure that the teachers are yeah. qualified and trained uh, in order to provide that sort of a curriculum. So it's a longer term ambition, but that is what we would uh, like to do. What are the current updates for the start of Pathway uh, to Cambridge University's English program? Well, yeah, I just mentioned that the, the, pathway, the yeah. pathway begins with primary. Um, and so that would be where we would begin. Uh, we would begin with the, the Cambridge primary, um, and that would be for children grade one, uh, I aged about five years old. Uh, through to 11 years old um, and then we have to see what happens after that uh, but Cambridge have a middle school program um, and then through that we would build up to towards A levels. I certainly highlight the views uh, on opening its branches in other provinces. Right yeah okay so we already have schools here in Lumbini province that school the motherland school is, is a, a charity school, we don't charge high fees, we per charge very minimal fees, uh, so it's a community school, uh, so we're trying to provide a good education for children from slightly disadvantaged backgrounds. Um, we already have, uh, we're, we're setting up two schools uh, at the moment in Pokhara, um, <coughs> one of which the first to open will be a, uh, a, a plus two A-level uh, college, um, and then we're going to be building a school on our campus in, in Pokhara. Uh, we also have ambitions to open schools in Burgundy and, uh, and other provinces as well. And not to mention Kathmandu. We have an A-level college in Kathmandu already, uh, along with the, 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 the British College. So we're active across quite yeah. a wide part of Nepal. You are the teacher of Dipinder Shah and uh, Prime Minister of UK, Boris Johnson. Kindly share us some of your experiential. Well, uh, I was indeed, I was privileged to teach uh, as he was then, Crown Prince Dipendra. Um, and um, in fact, Crown Prince Dipendra, as I think people know, yeah. was a very keen geographer. I taught geography um, and uh, Crown Prince Dipendra uh, did A-level geography with me. So I was very privileged to, to teach him. He was, a, he was a very charming and interesting uh, young man um, and uh, so it was a great pleasure to have him in my class. Uh, he actually, when he left uh, Eton with his A-levels, he went on to uh, read geography uh, here in, in Nepal. He, he read uh, a, a geography degree. Um, Boris Johnson, of course, is now the ex-Prime Minister. He, uh, he stood down only a few days ago. Um, but uh, of course Eton College is famous for having produced, I'm not sure the total num number, but something like 18 Prime Ministers um, and countless other government ministers. So yeah, it, it was a pleasure to teach, uh, teach people who've gone on to very eminent positions. 
Yeah. Also enlightening us about the Big British College Kathmandu, the Hill Oz Institute, Dubai, and uh, which are in your realm, sir? Well, um, as as a, an advisor to the British College in Kathmandu, um, it's it's my responsibility and that of the rest of the advisory board um, to to oversee what happens at the British College and try to, to see make sure that uh, we retain the standards, the very high standards that are expected um, of a body that is uh, is uh, um, teaching for British degrees. Now. Um, we also have the, uh, the, 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 the South London College in Woolwich um, and that is teaming up with Westminster University to, to, to do degrees. At the moment it focuses mainly um, on, on sort of uh, non-academic subjects. Uh, Dubai, um, that is, a, that is an, a, another uh, country and uh, so students who come to the British College can spend one or two years studying in Kathmandu. They can transfer to Dubai to do one year or, or, or more if they want. And, and there's going to be possibility for them to study for a year in the United Kingdom if that's what they would like to do. So uh, we're, we're building up, if you like, a sort of a fairly global uh, educational group. In the last, uh, what would you like to say, sir? Well, I would like to say that um, I, I very much enjoy being in Nepal. I'm very happy to contribute my time um, and I'm very happy to contribute my, my experience. Um, having been teaching at a, at a very eminent school in the United Kingdom, if I can do something to help um, ne ne Nepalese children to, to get a, a good education, um, then I'm very happy to do that. So uh, yeah, I very much enjoy working with my colleagues here. Yeah. Uh, they are very professional people, um, they, they work hard, they're dedicated. Um, and it is a great pleasure to work with them and, and as I say if I can lend uh, some expertise from my experience then I'm very happy to do that. Now our time is going to be over so I would like to say a lot of thanks uh, to you sir and uh, our technician friend Naran and uh, all my viewers. Okay, bye sir. Alright, thank you. Okay. Goodbye.